it's Sheena and I'm back with another video. So on today's video, I will be talking to y'all about how to research your doctor. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this subject is because I get a lot of messages from ladies who want to know how I was able to find dolls that went to the surgeons that I chose. So for those of you do, who do not know, the surgeons that I chose uh, for my round one and round two surgeries were Dr. Velasco, round one, and round two, Dr. Hakame. Now, before I get into that, I just want to tell y'all about this makeup that I'm wearing, okay? So this lipstick, in case y'all were wondering, this is a matte red lipstick, and this is by Pretty Privilege, okay? number 24 I don't know if y'all can see that but look at that I love this lipstick it is I love a red lip and this is the perfect red lipstick and um, I also did some eyeshadow for y'all today and this is from the palette pretty privileged palette did a little eye makeup I usually don't do eyeshadow because of these hooded lids sometimes it's hard for y'all to see but it really came out really pretty the colors are popping and so I just wanted to let y'all know just in case y'all were wondering okay so all right let's get into the video <laughs> so how did I research my doctor so I'm just go ahead and give y'all some tips on how you can research doctors um, not just my doctor but just any doctor that you can't find a lot of their dolls because they just may not be a very popular doctor. So I'm going to just tell y'all the tips and tricks that I did um, to get information on the doctors, okay? Because there are some doctors out here that you can see their dolls, you know, you could just... They, there are celebrities that go to them, um, Instagram models. It's real easy for you to see a Cabral doll or a Duran doll or a Plaza doll. You can see plenty of women that have gone to these doctors just by opening up your Instagram app. Instagram app. Um, and a lot of a lot of ladies now are being a lot more forthcoming about who their surgeons are. So if it's a popular doctor, odds are you you're gonna have no problem finding their dolls. Okay. So what what I am saying is for me, I chose um, Dr. Velasco. He is not a popular surgeon. There are girls that go to him, like there are uh, famous. Uh, Instagram models, uh, bartenders, strippers that go to him, but he's like a word of mouth doctor. So they're just not telling people who they went to. Like for some reason, when it comes to him, they're not really sharing the sharing his information. Okay. And actually that is what intrigued me when I first heard about him, I'm like, hmm, why aren't they sharing him? Like, he must be a bomb doctor. Like, they're, they're, girls are not trying to give away um, the, the the deets on the on him. Like, so he must be a bomb. So I was like, okay, let me find out more about him. And there was hardly no dolls. Like, when I and when I say research lady, I'm not talking about finding out whether or not they're board certified or if they've had any deaths or anything like that because you can easily look that up when you look the doctor's name. There's ways to do that. If you want me to do a video on that, I can, but I'm talking about research as finding doll actual dolls that went to the particular surgeon. So that's what I mean when I say research, okay? So, there wasn't a lot of Velasco dolls out there, okay? Um, there was a few dolls that it was rumored that he did, like Tattoo Holly, if y'all don't know her. Like, she was a, um, a doll that was rumored to go to Velasco, but it was never confirmed, you know? Um, Hello Kitty. Is her name Hello Kitty? Not Hello Kitty. What's her name? Um those were just rumors it was nothing that I was actually confirmed that he did their work okay so but I had a good feeling that he did okay but all right so I was like all right I can't find any of the dolls I was in the surgery groups on Facebook um that's how I found out about him because you know girls were just talking about him under post 
um, they knew someone who went to him, but still no pictures. So what I had to do was I had, I went on a website called Real Self. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Y'all know I got y'all. Um, I went on Real Self and I found my first Velasco doll. That was probably maybe two on there. And I was like, okay, um, they were, they had, those were like some liposuction, BBL, no tummy tucks or anything like that. So, um, I was like, okay, you know, um, he has an Instagram page. I went to his Instagram page, but his Instagram page, the dolls looked at like, cause this was back in like 2015 y'all. So back then the doctors in Columbia, a lot of doctors were just getting onto Instagram and posting their work. Cause before they, that, they just didn't really like to post their work. I think they had like laws to like against posting um certain pictures online or whatever but he had a he did have an instagram page okay so after i went to real self i found a couple of his dolls and someone was like okay uh go to instagram found his instagram page found his instagram page um i don't know why that wasn't the first thing i went to but th like i said this was back in 2015 um and a lot of information was on real self so that's why I went to real self first um found a doll I was like okay you know real natural looking not really what I was looking for but I was like okay I keep still keep hearing dolls talk about how great he is so let me just keep researching so I went over to Instagram I found his Instagram page and this was because he has a new Instagram page now but this was the one that he had before in like 2015 um, since then he's, he's gotten another one, but he had dolls that he did. Um, and I seen one doll and she looked at bomb. She had a, um, she got a tummy tug lipo BBL with him. So he tagged her. Okay. So what I did was I went to her. I, um, uh, you know how you tag someone. So, um, and I liked her tummy tuck. I liked the fact that she looked real, it looked it so natural. And then she had like those hips because he has, Dr. Velasco has these famous hips. Like, y'all know, I showed y'all in the other video, like a, a example. She had all that. She looked at bomb. So I was like, okay, um, I clicked on her name. And so I inboxed her and I asked her, um, I inboxed her and I asked her about her experience. Um, I asked her if she didn't mind sharing some more photos with me. And she, um, she actually, um, she actually reached back out to me. She did respond. She actually responded to me. And she told me how great of a doctor he was. Uh, she let me see pictures. And she even, because I asked her if she knew any of other dolls that went to him. And she even pointed me in the direction of some other dolls that went to him. So what I did was I created a Instagram account for surgery because I knew a lot of these dolls who she told me about they were not going to accept my my um my request to join you know their Instagram page if I wasn't um getting surgery too because that's how it works in the Instagram surgery community like you have to have a surgery page for a lot of for a lot of to see a lot of dolls accounts surgery accounts you have to have a surgery account yourself so I created a surgery account and then um, I, I started um, and it was only it was still only uh, maybe I think she pointed me in the direction of like two dolls. OK, so um, I was able to see get on their surgery page, see the work, see his work. And I was impressed. So I was like, OK, um, all good reviews. So. Um, after I researched his credentials and everything, I went ahead and that's how I, that's how I solidified, uh, round one Dr. Dr. Velasco. And that's how I was able to see his dolls through in the Instagram and real self community. Okay. So that's how I did it. Now, when it comes to Dr. Hakame, um, the same thing, there was not a lot, there to be honest, y'all, I I didn't see not one 
Dr. Hakame doll other than the dolls that was posted on her Instagram, okay? But I still was interested in her because um, I heard that she was a good doctor. I was like, okay, I'm going to go with her. You know, or I was like, okay, I heard she was a good doctor. So I was like, okay, let me research her. I heard she was good with, with breast. So I was like, okay, let me research her. Um, I didn't find not one doll, not one doll while I was researching her. Um, but I was following this um, consultant page called Lux, Reco Lux Recovery House. And they uh, they had some type of uh, partnership with Dr. Hakame. And so he was posting um, her dolls. Like, so he was posting. That's where I got a lot of um, information from, from this page, Lux Recovery House. So um, that's how I found out actually about Dr. Hakame. I went to Dr. Hakame's Instagram page. Um, but he just so happened posted um, a doll on his page, um, and I say him, it's ran by, uh, Lux Recovery House is ran by him and I believe his wife or girlfriend, I'm not sure, but they run, um, the Lux Recovery House. So, um, it's a, cons they're, consult they're consultants and they're also, they own their own recovery house in Columbia and they have an Instagram page. So that's where I found a lot of, um, Hakame, um, at the time, it was actually like maybe one or two. It was a model that went, she was an Instagram model, but she had several rounds, so I didn't count her. And then there was a girl that had went to her. That was her first round. She had lipo BBL. Um, I love the way uh, she looked. So I was like, okay. And then when I reached out to Dr. Hakame's assistant, she gave me some pictures and so that solidified um round two okay for me which was dr hakame now dr hakame has way more dolls that you can see um all you could all you have to do is go on um her instagram page it's like real doll like because at first her her um instagram page was full of like um women that she did that was from that were from Colombia that didn't have in they didn't have Instagram pages so they weren't tagged so it wasn't like I could actually talk to them um through like messenger or reach out to them because they were just pictures of her work now she has pictures of actual dolls that you can actually reach out to on her Instagram and so does Lux Recovery House if y'all want to see more Hakame dolls follow Lux Recovery House and also follow Dr. Hakame on her Instagram. I also did a search for Dr. Hakame too. I forgot that. Um, I did a Google search for her. And um, I came on a like forum. Plastic surgery forum. And um, there were like really good reviews about her. No pictures. But really good reviews about her. So um, then I looked up her credentials and everything. And like I said that solidified um, my round to Dr. Dr. Hakame. Dr. Hakame. So yeah, so I just wanted to let y'all know um, how I was able to research and find dolls for doctors. When, when you don't see a lot of their dolls, um, a lot of times it doesn't mean that they're a bad surgeon. It could be that they're just a word of mouth doctor. And a lot of dolls, they still to this day, they don't like um, sharing their doctor's information. Some feel like it's because, you know, for they don't want to share because they don't want to promote the doctor because they didn't get a discount or they don't want people to know they had surgery. So those could be reasons why they don't talk about these doctors. Um, so yeah, but y'all know I don't care. I'm going to give y'all the tea. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to keep it real. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative. I hope it was helpful. Make sure that you, um, if you're looking for um, dolls, and you want to check you want to look through the, look at them through Instagram make sure that you get a Instagram surgery page and make sure you're posting pictures like don't just make an account and um, not post any like have zero posts because uh, dolls are probably not going to accept you um, 
don't uh maybe post one or two pictures of like wish pics and think that you're gonna get accepted that's not how it works you have to actually have a real surgery page um in order to get accepted by a lot of these dolls okay because it's, it's sensitive information out there we share they get pictures and everything like we don't want this you know we don't want to just accept anybody so if you get if you're interested in surgery and you want to do research and you want to do it through instagram um I would suggest getting a Instagram surgery page. Um, Facebook, there are a few uh, Colombian uh, Facebook groups. Even if you're, there are like so many surgery Facebook groups if you're trying to get surgery, like in Dominican Republic, um, out of the country now. Before there wasn't, but now there's a lot. So you can go on Facebook too, and you can um, find some dolls in the groups as well. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I will see y'all on the next video. Please don't forget to comment and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And, y'all, please don't forget to subscribe, okay? And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.